Bonjour, this is G, and welcome to Behind the Mic Live, where I sit down with incredible coaches, public speakers, entrepreneurs, and authors who are making big rock star moves in their business. Today, my guest is Olesia Sawa. She is a branding strategist, an executive coach, an NLP master practitioner, and an author. So please welcome to Behind the Mic Live, Alicia. How are Thank you? Please. Thank you so much for introduction. You got my name perfectly right. Oh, perfect. So, okay. I was so everybody who are listening uh, to us right now are looking after on the replay. I'm happy to that you joined us and uh, expect an interesting conversation that we're going to have today. Yes, because we we started out having a coffee chat on Zoom, and when I we started talking about NLP, we're going to talk about this later on. Like I am fascinated, and I want to know your thoughts on on NLP and how we can incorporate that into our business. So let's start with who is Alicia? Well, as many of us, I have uh, different roles. Mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur for quite some uh, years already. I'm a mother, a friend, lifelong uh, learner. Okay. Uh, but uh, in an essence, uh, I would uh, say that uh, I'm a person uh, who is uh, uh, interested in life, who is in love mm -hmm. in life uh, with life. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of different things that I'm doing uh, is uh, focused on people and uh, how people can uh, maximize their potential, create mm -hmm. their businesses and their lives around uh, who they are and what they want to do with their life and what make their eyes sparkle and the heart sing. Yes. So how did you find your voice? It's been a very long uh, journey okay. and uh, it started uh, a couple of years ago uh, mm -hmm. because uh, my uh, career originally uh, was uh, in uh, steel industry. Okay. Uh, by the age of uh, 25, I've uh, built a eight-figure uh, uh, business, which was mm -hmm. extremely successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, I pretty much uh, uh, believe that I'm uh, all uh, settled uh, until... Uh, last crisis of 2008-2009, uh, when uh, pretty much uh, in a couple of months uh, I was left with uh, nothing, uh, oh even more below zero, and oh they wow. took me on a journey to uh, rediscover myself. Uh, hmm. And uh, at that point I was uh, a very big perfectionist, so I believed that uh, we should be only sharing uh, the positive sides of our story. Okay. And uh, it's actually going through this process of understanding who I am. Um, mm -hmm. you know, when you are stripped uh, uh, of all of the external uh, markers of success, uh, mm -hmm. I also understood that uh, we as people uh, tend to relate to other people who are humans, not perfect uh, uh, icons. Right. And uh, right. it took me on a, a journey towards personal branding and uh, coaching. And I started to share my story uh, one piece or at a time. Right. In the beginning, uh, with a very trembling voice and uh, not knowing uh, what would be out the outcome, mm -hmm. how the people would uh, react. Uh, to my thoughts, uh, to the way I think or perceive uh, things. And uh, now I'm at another end of the cycle where I help uh, people to find their uh, voice and visibility, yes. uh, to uh, become visible on uh, social media, because I believe that it's essential skill mm -hmm. today in the business environment if you want to be successful. And, uh, and yeah, as uh, with many things uh, we teach uh, uh, and which we, we learn uh, based on our previous experiences. So what would you say is your number one rock star quality? I'm a maximizer. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Which means that uh, I uh, don't accept uh, uh, things that are average. Okay. Uh, and I focus uh, on uh, maximizing uh, uh, the outputs of uh, things that are already good. So uh, uh, when I'm working with uh, people, uh, in uh, different uh, roles uh, and contexts. Uh, my uh, main goal is uh, to see what they are already very good at okay. and uh, then amplify that. Okay. So, uh, we can say that it's like, uh, you know, with the diamonds, if you wanted to uh, uh, sell at high price, you want mm -hmm. to polish it and then you want to, to put in a nice packaging, put yes. a red ribbon on top of that and then yes. present it to the world. So that's my superpower. <laughs> yes, that's a great that's a great visual too because I I can see exactly what you're saying. Like I mean, you think about where a diamond comes from, you know, and 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 I mean all the pressure it goes through and everything to create that, and and it really is about how how you present. So tell me more about your branding agency, Maximizer. Uh, the focus of the uh, branding agency is uh, to bridge the gap uh, okay. which uh, the digital world has created uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we work with uh, different professionals and uh, CEOs and owners of the companies who already have established uh, businesses, mm -hmm. established personal brands in the physical world okay so okay. Uh, their immediate uh, circle their existing uh, clients uh, would know who they are would right. know all right. of their strengths and capabilities but because uh, they started 20 30 years ago uh, yep. when uh, digital space was non-existent now they are facing a situation where they have uh, either zero digital presence or it's not working to their advantage. And uh, so we match the uh, uh, digital presence with okay. the personality of the people and we amplify everything that they are doing uh, online. So uh, the goal is uh, to maximize their uh, input mm -hmm. uh, impact, but uh, also to do it in an authentic way so that digital twin, so to say, uh, presents the real person. Yeah, I think uh, I find LinkedIn over the last six months to a year, the change that LinkedIn is going through, absolutely fascinating because, well, like I, I was in the music industry for 25 years and my LinkedIn profile said professional cat herder because I didn't tell anybody in the music industry, you didn't tell people who you wanted to work with. So when I started the coaching business, I had to go, okay, now I got to let people know who I am. And I'm just finding like LinkedIn fascinating that it's more than just a place to go for a job and everything. What are your thoughts? What can businesses do to really tap into LinkedIn's branding? They're focused on video right now. And you know, if we're not all professional cat herders. Well, I think that uh, for every business owner, it's important to understand that uh, if you are not visible on LinkedIn, if you're not active on LinkedIn, you know, pretty much uh, don't uh, exist because wow. uh, this is the uh, only professional platform at the mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. where people have a totally different mindset. If, for example, okay. we compare to other social media platforms uh, like Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, People are using this uh, during their personal time for personal mm -hmm. uses. But uh, uh, on uh, LinkedIn, uh, there is a very uh, good saying that uh, sums up the essence of LinkedIn. So uh, okay. if on other social media platforms uh, we spend time scrolling mindlessly, then uh, yeah. on uh, LinkedIn we have a, a possibility to invest uh, our time and get very high return of investment because we can target uh, very specifically our uh, audience. Uh, we can choose ourselves whom we mm -hmm. want to talk to, uh, which is essential for, for businesses. But it's not either or, so we right. don't have to choose whether we uh, uh, communicate with people uh, outside of social media or we strictly go to social media platforms, but it works as a hybrid. So uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can initiate the contact on LinkedIn, for example, and yes. then take this conversation outside, create a real human connection, 
And yeah. maybe uh, we won't have a deal uh, um, during the first conversation, but staying in touch on LinkedIn, yes. being active, we have a possibility to stay top of mind and mm -hmm. uh, let our potential and existing clients remember who we are and yes. also notice the things that we are doing. So it's kind of a, a, view, a, a woman's approach uh, to business. So we don't mm -hmm. have to all the time uh, reach out to our potential clients, uh, but we show up, we share things that are important to them, right. and uh, we prepare them uh, to and actually take them through the process that they understand that I know who you are, I know what you are doing, mm -hmm. I understand what problem you are solving and also understand that i have this problem that you can help me to solve and once we are doing that we can say that uh, it is working uh, pretty much as selling without selling yes yes what i love about linkedin is i think of linkedin as being a big uh convention center mm -hmm. big conference center and if you were to walk into say a room full of a thousand people and walk up and shake everybody's hand individually with a business card. That was kind of the old way of doing it where you had to be, you know, face to face. Now, if you go up on stage and present to those thousand people, when you walk off stage, you're going to have 40 or 50 people that walk up to you and now want to work with you because they have seen you present. So what that leads me to is uh, the power of video. I mean, I know we got TikTok and IG and everyone's mm -hmm. doing all the things to try to get you know, viral numbers, but what can people do, uh, uh, business owners, entrepreneurs do on video to really cut through all that noise and connect with their ideal clients? I think that the most important uh, thing uh, is uh, to uh, understand themselves, uh, yeah. understand uh, what they stand for and what they offer and yeah. uh, who is their ideal client. Uh, and uh, I believe that on video, video is the best tool uh, after personal interaction, of course, right. to uh, uh, get the, to let people get the feeling of who you are, the way mm -hmm. that uh, you talk, the way that you think. Uh, but it's also important uh, to uh, master the uh, conversations on video uh, in a way that uh, they would feel uh, authentic. And you mm -hmm. would sound the way that uh, you were, uh, would be talking to a friend. Yes. Uh, because once again, uh, I, I believe that you also uh, encounter this in your coaching uh, mm -hmm. uh, sessions. Uh, we can have a very uh, talented, a very experienced uh, business owner mm -hmm. uh, who can go uh, on stage and, and talk uh, with a live audience. But the uh, video and camera, yeah presents yes. a new set of challenges mm -hmm. and uh, our uh, subconscious mind can freak out uh, and uh, it can actually uh, limit the way that we can uh, um, use video to our advantage. And it's also important for every person to find uh, the uh, the way that it uh, seems to be the most natural one. Yes. Yes. Because you can do videos, for example, in many different ways. Mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. get inspiration from TikTok or Instagram, and you can apply them also right, to right. Uh, uh, LinkedIn. But it has to uh, feel authentic to this person. So if I don't uh, make jokes in a real life and I would try to uh, make a funny video uh, uh, because it's trendy, uh, yeah most probably it won't uh, have an effect that I want it to have. Right. And talking about subconscious, you are an NLP master practitioner. We had this conversation on uh, the coffee chat. I am fascinated about NLP. I think it, I get, I think it gets a bad rep. I think because it has the word programming in it, I, I think people that maybe don't understand it as well, uh, it, it have like a, a negative, feel to it. Can you explain what, what your thoughts are on NLP and how can we as entrepreneurs use this to really enhance our business? 
Yes, uh, actually, uh, the founders of NLP, John Grinder and the Richard mm -hmm. Bandler, uh, joke themselves that they created a very good tool, uh, but uh, they uh, totally failed at marketing and uh, naming this uh, uh, NLP because yeah. uh, people uh, don't understand this. And this is right. pretty much the first question that I get in 99% of the cases. Yep. What is NLP? So it uh, stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, in an essence, it's uh, a way to understand and decode language okay. that people use to see the inner picture of a person. Okay. So uh, the, by the way we speak, mm -hmm. uh, we can understand how we feel, what we believe in. Mm -hmm. And we also use this process in reverse uh, to uh, use language and change the inner picture, which okay. uh, might limit the way that people see the world and the choices that uh, people uh, see. And uh, in the 60s, uh, it uh, focused mainly on the language aspect of the, okay. uh, 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 and, and how to use this, how to apply that. Mm -hmm. But uh, now more and more uh, NLP is going uh, into direct contact with the uh, subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it focuses on uh, changing uh, the state of the person. So you, okay. would, uh, you would also hear uh, Tony uh, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Robbins who uh, talks a lot about uh, changing the state mm -hmm. and why people are jumping at his uh, uh, big life events uh, mm -hmm. is because uh, once we change our state, uh, the uh, whole perception of the world also changes. Right. And it, so it's a much quicker uh, way to wrap uh, get out of the pattern that you are used to and uh, see some other choices. So we, for example, we would be trying to change the thoughts. Okay. We have uh, around 60,000 thoughts, which are on repeat right. mode in our heads every day. It's quite exhausting uh, to uh, monitor every single thought that you have. But the shortcut is uh, to focus on your state Okay. And you have a very clear intention of where you are going. So NLP actually helps you to uh, get in uh, contact with your subconscious mind hmm. and uh, align uh, the intentions that you set with your conscious mind. So what you think that you want with the, the things that your subconscious mind uh, uh, believes that you want. And when we have, once we have our subconscious as a, uh, and now a lie, then mm -hmm. we can achieve uh, all of the things that we want to achieve very quickly. And it also gives us this in, uh, inner drive and motivation, which is uh, necessary to mm -hmm. uh, take consistent action. And there are a lot of many applications, including um, personal branding, where I apply mm -hmm. NLP techniques, uh, and it helps people to get the out of this situation where they are stuck, okay. when they don't uh, see the way out, uh, they, when they don't see the way forward, uh, or they have uh, limiting beliefs that uh, are stopping them. How do we get to that? Uh, like for you know, I mean, we not we have limited time, but what is like one technique we could use to just kind of get into? the mindset of, of being that successful entrepreneur? Well, we uh, all have certain qualities in, uh, mm -hmm. in different uh, situations. Uh, okay. So, for example, if we take confidence, mm -hmm. every single person would have uh, confidence in a certain context that okay. he's familiar with. Uh, he already uh, mastered the skill. Uh, okay. But perhaps this person is lacking confidence um, in terms of public speaking or in terms okay. of video making. Okay. So uh, we can uh, access this state of confidence uh, in this uh, uh, natural context. So for example, okay. this person is very confident playing golf. 
So okay. once we address this uh, confidence in golf context, okay. we can transfer this into uh, another situation and we can actually re, um, reprogram uh, okay. our mind. So, uh, for example, the minute I think about being on a go golf course, Right. So I imagine myself there, I see what I see, I hear all of the sounds, I oh, focus wow. on this experience, uh, and then I kind of step into the context where I want to have the same confidence. And we use a lot of body movements, so okay. we'll be actually moving into the next uh, 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 positive uh, context. And once we practice that, uh, it becomes easier and easier because all of our problems are actually coming from our minds. So mm -hmm. everything that stops us uh, is in our mind. The minute when we come into the present mom moment, mm -hmm. uh, into our body, yes. we can make a deliberate choice. So, for example, oh, wow. if I'm not uh, uh, ready to go on stage, my mm -hmm. mind start to create pictures that uh, people would think that I don't know anything and who am I right. to be on that stage and, and all mm -hmm. things like that. But we can stop this voice and we can focus on us being here. We can bring from the uh, past the resources and the state that we already have. And mm -hmm. then we can access this state and go into the new situation from uh, from that. So it's uh, it's about being mindful and creating right. a pause between the outside trigger and uh, our reaction to this trigger. Okay. So it's when when you access the subconscious and you can and you can associate certain feelings like you said if I'm really confident about one one thing like the example for this is golf very mm -hmm. confident with golf, but not confident with public speaking. You can mm -hmm. then take the feelings of what it's like being on the golf course, having that, that perfect game, and transfer that into the feeling that when you go on stage. This is very similar to what I experienced in the music industry, too, because mm -hmm. I would uh, talk to the, the lead singers and tell them that if they're performing to an audience of 10 people, you want to uh, visualize and present it as it's, you're performing to 10,000. Mm -hmm. And when you're performing to 10,000, you want to visualize and act like you're performing to 10, meaning mm -hmm. everybody in the audience is very, um, you know, that that's who you're, you're talking to everybody in the audience. This is how like some of the favorite rock stars and pop stars can sell out a stadium and everybody at the show can feel like they're singing right to them or they wrote that song for them. So I want to know your thoughts on what, um, how, how can we, take this incorporate it into you know uh, is repetition is key right i mean this isn't something you just do one time it's really find a coach like yourself who specializes in nlp and this is this is like an ongoing coaching right this isn't um uh a, 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 you know um two or three session fix thing this is like because you're reprogramming your mind essentially right your subconscious Right? Uh, yeah, well, essentially you are reprogramming your, your mind, but uh, what you start to do and the effects of that can, uh, okay. can be immediate is uh, your first job is uh, to notice uh, the pattern. Okay. And uh, once you uh, notice the pattern of what you are doing or the way that you are reacting, okay. you then create a space from where you can uh, take another uh, path. So you, you change your uh, state, for example, once again, you, you've been on a stage with 100 people. Now mm -hmm. you have a new situation and you have to go on stage with 1,000 people. Right. So this is a new situation. Once again, uh, your brain uh, perceives this as danger. And right. that you can either go with the flow of your thoughts or you can say, stop, I see what is happening. Mm -hmm. I can change my state and they're actually the easiest way to change our state is uh, to change our physiology. So to okay. change the way that we breathe, mm -hmm. to physically move, to just mm -hmm. stand up 
yes. jump, uh, run around, uh, yes. uh, dance, do whatever. Yes. And yes. you can actually immediately feel that your state is changing. And yes. once your state is changing, you're already out of this pattern. Yes. And another thing that uh, I, I, another very simple technique that I want to share with our listeners is that mm -hmm. uh, all of us, uh, irrespective of our positions, age, uh, gender, mm -hmm. we have this inner compass which tells us what is right and what is wrong. So okay. you can call it uh, intuition, you can call mm -hmm. it a voice, uh, whatever mm -hmm. label you want to put to that. But we always know the right answer. And the okay. easy way to understand what is a right answer for you in this moment is to notice how do you feel. So if right. I, I'm thinking about this event or an opportunity, does it make me feel light and excited? Right, right. Or do I feel heavy? Heavy, uh, yeah, like stressed. Yeah. Like stressed, yeah. like uh, I am uh, contracting in all of yes. my body. Yes. And once we start to notice that uh, it can guide us very well in pretty much all of the decisions uh, that we um, take, both in our business life, but mm -hmm. also in the, in the personal life. Yes. Another thing uh, which also small children are capable of doing, our mm -hmm. body is kind of uh, acting as a pendle, so to say. So okay. uh, for most people, when you're thinking about uh, something uh, positive, something mm -hmm. good for you, your body would naturally uh, try to move towards this thing. Right. And if you're, if you're thinking about yes. something that is not good for you, your body will lean back. Uh, and we can first set uh, our yes and no response by okay. simply asking our body uh, is my name Olesia for example and where my body would move and then I would mm. say some statement that I know 100% is a no and see how my body would react oh wow and uh, it, 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 it's very easy uh, the more we test that and mm -hmm. practice Mm -hmm. and actually play with that right the easier it would become so obviously there are more advanced techniques uh, that we can't cover uh, yeah. at the moment, but yeah. they will have very simple basics that everyone can um, try out well i see the wall behind you is like a, a, a hall of fame with all the diplomas and and uh certificates and uh, awards and everything. And I know you had uh, an exciting moment in June. And I also want to, because you just shared this exciting news with me right before the show. So yes, tell us about your experience and, and what everything on the wall means. Yes. Yeah, there are actually two types of uh, things on the wall. Uh, one uh, type, uh, different awards uh, for uh, uh, digital uh, uh, media company, all different yep. work that we have done uh, for different clients. And the rest, mm -hmm. uh, I think the majority of them uh, are my diplomas uh, in uh, different uh, <laughs> coaching uh, yes. uh, yes. studies uh, NLP as well. I think that there are three diplomas uh, in the NLP or so. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, I am a lifelong learner. I'm mm -hmm. extremely curious. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I think that um, the minute I would stop learning, uh, uh, that would be my last minute in, in this world. Oh, yeah. uh, so wow. yeah. uh, uh, this uh, this June, yeah, I had a, a privilege to address uh, the uh, uh, graduates of my uh, school, uh, yes. uh, Estonian Business School, uh, and uh, uh, life uh, uh, actually turned out in a way that uh, uh, now uh, I'm starting a new <laughs> educational journey in yes. the same school. Uh, uh, and I'm starting uh, doctoral studies uh, on the wow. subject uh, 
of uh, digital personal branding of leaders, okay. of the owners of the companies and uh, the effects uh, on the mm -hmm. company uh, performance. And uh, I, I believe that this is uh, a very important and quite often uh, overlooked topic. Uh, and uh, it has to be addressed because yes. uh, yeah. the longer it's not addressed, mm -hmm. the bigger the gap is, is becoming. Yes. Yes. Well, congratulations on all your awards and, and you're studying a four-year program. So to be a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that's, <laughs> wow. That's incredible. So how can people work with you? What's the best way to reach you? And, and what, how, how can people work with you? Uh, well, uh, there are two tracks uh, that uh, I work with uh, people. Uh, one track is uh, either one-on-one -on -one, uh, personal branding uh, mentorship. I don't call okay. it coaching because uh, there are multiple things involved, including uh, NLP uh, coaching, but also uh, mentoring and helping them to actually okay. take real steps and uh, we we'll also do all this in a group uh, format and okay. the second one is uh, done for your service uh, so uh, my at my agency we actually take uh, the uh, um, entrepreneurs uh, business owners CEOs mm -hmm. uh, we create uh, a strategy for them and then we execute that uh, so okay. uh, pretty much uh, taking uh, full care of the yes. digital twin. <laughs> VIP service. Yes. 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 So before we go, I want to know who is your favorite rock star? My favorite uh, rock star. Oh, my God. You caught me off guard. I know. That's why I, did tell you, I did tell you that question. Yeah. Um, the first uh, okay. uh, name that pops uh, up in my mind, uh, yeah. I will tell you, although I'm not 100% sure that it's a rock star. Okay. Okay. Is Sting. Sting is a rock star. Oh my God. Yeah. So, so tell me, why, why Sting? Why Sting? I love the. The presence of, yes. uh, of him. So it's uh, it's it's the whole you know in, in branding we say that it's the the person uh, uh, with yes. all of the different uh, shades of the of the person. Yes. So uh, I uh, I feel that uh, his personality is reflected in his music. Yes, I mean when he's in the police, he has his signature sound. When he's a solo artist. He has his signature sound, and even when he's a guest on, I mean, he can just, he is one of those artists that could sing two notes, and you know it's him out of millions of artists out there. So, yes. Uh, well, thank you again for being on the show. This is so great. I want everyone to connect with Olicia here on LinkedIn, and also they can check out your website, oliciasawa.com. Is there any uh, anything else you want to share with us before before we wrap up today? I really enjoy our conversations all the time, and thanks again for being yes, on the show. Yeah, absolutely, my uh, pleasure. Uh, I talk on LinkedIn uh, quite much, uh, quite a lot actually, about uh, all of the topics that we touched upon. So uh, I would be happy to connect with all of the uh, listeners. Uh, and uh, perhaps expand a little bit their understanding of, uh, of personal branding and NLP, because uh, yes. that's my very strong conviction that uh, those are uh, non-negotiable business right. tools uh, in today's uh, environment, yes. along with uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you again, Alicia. You are a true rock star. Until next time, everyone. Ciao. Bye. See ya.